Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do another DIY project. You can probably tell by the thumbnail. Today we're gonna make our own soap. Um, my husband found a bar of soap, well actually I found it in one of those Walmart Walmart hauls after Christmas where I got all those great big like gift sets of like shampoos, body washes, shaving things um, after Christmas marked way, way, way down to stock us up for the year. And in one of those sets is was a bar of soap. It was a shaving set for men. You can go back to that video and look and see if you can figure out which one it was. I will link that video in the description box down below. Um, but I'm not going to name name brands because I'm not sponsoring them. But he fell in love with that bar of soap. I would have never bought it on my own because it is very expensive. You buy the bar by itself, it is like $13.90 something. It's like $14 for one bar of soap. But he loved it. It did great on his skin and he wanted some more. So I figured out that it was a shea butter soap and it had oats and it had the different things in it. So I bought this stuff on Amazon to make it myself. So it looks like this. It's got oats in it. This is one bar of soap. So I got the soap base on Amazon. I will link this in the description as well. This is the one that I bought and I bought the two pound a box. I've already done half of it. So we're gonna do the other half today so I can show you, but I've already done one pound. And then I ordered these soap molds on Amazon. I will link them as well. And I thought it was just one mold. It's well, not, it's two. You get two molds for the price. I will link those as well. The only other thing you need <clears throat> besides your soap base, which this is a melt and pour. It is not the lye. I'm not doing all that lye where you have to boil it down and the dangerous, no, no, no. I'm just gonna stick to plain old melt it and pour. Melt, add your stuff in, pour it in the molds, you're done. So that's what I've got. That's what I'm gonna use. And then to that, you also need a little spray bottle with rubbing alcohol to spray your molds. And then whatever you wanna add to your soap. If you just wanna melt it, pour it in the soap, in the molds and let it harden, then that's up to you. I am gonna add some other things to it. Now, I know milk is very, very good for your skin. I will also link in the description the oat milk bath that I made. That has been very helpful. I actually put that in like a small ramekin with some water if I burn like my finger um, cooking or the hot glue gun when I made the bunny wreath. I burnt this cuticle right here and even my nail itself is warped from the burn but I immediately made up some of that oat milk bath in a small ramekin and I just stuck my finger in it for about five minutes. No more pain. It was no pain. Amazing. I love that stuff now. So that has oats in it. That has powdered milk in it. Milk is great for your skin. So we're gonna add powdered milk to my soap. We're also gonna add these oats. All I did was get old fashioned oats and I put them in the food processor and I just pulsed them until it was mostly powder, but there's still a few little flakes in there, which is fine, he likes that. I'm also gonna add honey to it because honey is also great for your skin, antimicrobial, soothing, great for eczema. We're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna add essential oil for uh, scent, pour it in the molds and let it harden overnight and that's it. So let's get going. I, you can either melt this in the microwave, you know, a few seconds, stir it, a few seconds, stir it, which is what I did the last time or you can do it over a double boiler over the stove, which is how I'm gonna do it this time. So I will have done it both ways. We're gonna see which way I like best. Probably it's gonna be this way because it'll keep it warm while I'm adding everything in and stirring it. Whereas with the microwave, I would get it liquid and then I would add like milk, the powdered milk, and then I have to reheat it again because by the time I got it stirred in, it was already starting to harden around the edge of the glass thing that I was heating it in. So maybe this way it will keep it warmer longer and I can get everything added in. So let's get busy. Okay, we've got the pot going on like medium low heat with water in it that is not touching the bottom of the bowl. That is just steam and put that there. And then I am cutting the block of soap. It cuts so easily, just like a stick of butter. You don't have to cut really hard, but still be careful. We're just gonna put those in there and let them melt. And then we will add the stuff to it once it's all melted. We're getting there. It's almost completely melted. Only have a few little small solid pieces left. So what we're gonna do is as soon as it's completely melted, I'm just gonna turn the heat off and let it sit here and let it cool for just a minute because you don't want it to be piping hot 
but you need it to be still melted. So we're just gonna leave it sitting right here so that the water is still warm and still keeping it warm and melted, but not piping hot. And then we're gonna add in our additives. Okay, it's cooled a little bit and it's starting to form a little skin on the top. So you wanna just kind of stir that in there. And then we're gonna quickly add in our milk, our honey, and our oils first. And then let it cool a little bit more before we pour it into the, into the molds. And then right before we do that, we'll stir the oats in because if it is too hot when you stir in the oats, then they will all sink to the bottom and they will not be evenly distributed. So last time I did this, I think I used like two tablespoons of powdered milk. So I'm gonna use a little bit more than that this time. This is a fourth cup measure. So maybe an eighth of a cup, which might be two tablespoons, I don't know. We're gonna do a little bit at a time. And we're gonna use a whisk because it was clumpy when I did it the last time. I'm just gonna whisk all this in until it's good and smooth and you don't have any lumps of powdered milk in there. So it's evenly distributed. Now we're gonna add in our honey. The recipe that I found, again, I went to Pinterest and found tons of recipes for different soaps. Um, this is the one I'm using. It. I just, last time I just basically used two teaspoons of honey. So I'm gonna go with a tablespoon this time. And this is raw honey that came from Walmart. You wanna make sure you get this completely stirred in because if you leave any little pockets of honey that did not get dissolved into the mixture, your soap is going to be very sticky. And then you're gonna add in your oils. The last time I made those, I got some oils on Amazon that were the two cents that the bar of soap was that he really liked, the original one that I was trying to replicate. And they did not smell exactly like that bar of soap. So this time I'm just gonna do lavender because I don't think he particularly cares what it smells like so much as the way it feels on his skin and the way it has healed the eczema or whatever it is that he has and soothed it. So we're gonna go with just plain old lavender this time. I'm just gonna add in however much you think. Two, three. I have no idea how many drops that was. Just do it to your liking. Go ahead and stir that in, and then we're gonna let it cool a little bit more before we add in the oats. So I'm actually gonna move this over to the countertop over there, and get my soap mold ready while this cools just another minute or so. Before you do anything with pouring these in here, you need to have it on like a surface, like a cookie sheet, so that you can pick it up and move it out of your way, because once you've poured this, they need to be undisturbed until like overnight, at least four hours, if not overnight, because they have to harden. So if you want, you don't wanna pick this up and try to move it. So put it on something hard like a cookie sheet, and then you can move your cookie sheet to wherever you need to put it. Before you do anything in here, you need to spritz this with some rubbing alcohol. This is gonna prevent bubbles from forming. You're gonna spritz the mold itself. And then after you get the soap poured in here, you will spritz the top of it as well. So this is cooled some, so we're gonna add our oats. There is a fourth of a cup of oats. And I'm using the same measuring cup I used for the milk because it doesn't matter. And we're just gonna stir those in. And then we're just gonna pour it in the molds. Thank you. 
make it pretty and a little more exfoliating, I sprinkle a little more of the oats just on top. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then the last step is to spritz it again with rubbing alcohol. And let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow, all you have to do is pop out your bars of soap. And then you have these. And I just store them in a Ziploc bag or whatever airtight container. If you want to wrap each individual one in like some plastic wrap or something, you can. They pop out of the mold and they look like this. And he really likes them. These would be great as gifts or just for yourself. So that's it. Pretty easy. You melt it, you add the stuff, you pour it in the mold, let it sit at least four hours. Mine's gonna sit overnight. Tomorrow I will pop them out, throw them in a Ziploc bag, and we have six bars of soap. I think that soap base was $14, I wanna say. So by the time it was all said and done, I think it came out to like $1.25 per bar of soap. And like I said, that one from that I had gotten him that he really liked was $14. So that's a really significant savings, plus I know exactly what went into these. That soap base, you can get uh, the shea butter, like what I got, and I got that because that soap he liked was shea butter. There's also goat's milk, there's glycerin, there's um, I think a honey one, there's all different kinds. You just go on um, Amazon, Pinterest, and you can find tons of recipes, and you can customize it to how you like. So I hope that's helpful, and we will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye.